Welcome to another installment of Fighting for the Faith. My name is Chris Rosebro. I am your servant in Jesus Christ. This is the channel that compares what people are saying in the name of God to the Word of God. Now, if you've ever been to a church service and part of the worship set was a song called This Is Me... <clears throat> Yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like the video and uh, ring the bell. Uh, that's not appropriate in church unless, of course, the person you're worshiping is y your yourself. So uh, we're going to head on over to Glory of Zion, and uh, we're going to sample their Tammuz worship service and uh, as well as open mic prophecy time and see if we can make any sense of this. Uh, this is a place that we've nicknamed Cuckoo Banana Town, and there's reasons. <laughs> just all I got to say is there are reasons. So let, let's start by just jumping right into it, shall we? Here is one of their songs. See if you can figure out who this song, this worship song, is about. Here, here we go. All I require for life, God has given me. Yeah, I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what he says I am, where he says I'm at, I know who I am. Now, I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. Uh, it's all about me. Hmm. Put your hands up, Anita. She is Whoa. 71 years old. Whoa. And one of the most beautiful 71-year-old you could ever see. Thank God for what she and the team do. This is the month you make a decision. I'm crossing over. I'm not looking. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there right now. Back or else you stay on the other side. I said you're crossing over or you're staying on the other side right now. The tambourine girls are getting ready to do their thing. We're crossing over into the new. You'll note that uh, Jesus is the I am of Scripture. Just saying, you know, and all this I am stuff, and it's misplaced as far as like a worship song. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm working miracles. I live a life of favor. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that sounds like a worship song uh, that's worshiping me. Uh, this next one is um, <clears throat> from uh, the movie uh, The Greatest Showman. This is the anthem of the movie itself, and uh, we can't play too much of it. Uh, but uh, th just give you an example of the worship set there at Glory of Zion. Yeah, th this is me. Yeah, so apparently... That's an appropriate worship song nowadays. Who are these people worshiping? Hey, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's part of the worship set there. Um, and along with that comes uh, completely mind-numbingly incomprehensible prophecy to go with it. Because, you know, <laughs> this is Glory of Zion. This is where Chuck Pierce... Oh, holds court as an apostle. You need to shout. Just shout. I see the Lord saying that he is unraveling our DNA so that he can re... Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what'd you say? You say, you see... The Lord saying, which is weird, and you see him saying that we're gonna un he's gonna unravel our DNA. Yeah, let me back that up just a smidge. Try that again. I see the Lord saying that he is unraveling our DNA so that he can reloom us into something that we haven't even 
so that he can relume us. That That's a, a word that not a lot of people use nowadays, but to rekindle, to relight. So God's going to relume us after he unravels our DNA. I'm pretty sure if I had my DNA unraveled, uh, <laughs> that that would usually result in like my demise or whoever has their DNA unraveled, would that would result in their demise as well. Imagine ourselves to be a new tapestry in our DNA, a new tapestry that we couldn't conceive that we could be formed into. So he's unraveling us to relume us. Yeah, don't even get a prophecy bingo card out. It's it's not going to help. <laughs> Just say it. he's going to unravel our DNA so he can relume us. Got it. Tell somebody. <laughs> yeah, even Chuck Pierce is laughing at that one. You just feel like you're being unraveled. And the way you're going to look, you will radiate in days ahead. Aren't I special? I can glow in the dark now. Yeah, all this stuff is about me, 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 me. This isn't about Jesus. Yeah, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That's exactly what the book of Revelation says. This is the testimony of me, 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 me. It's all about me. Yeah. This all right, th this guy's got a cell phone, so he's taking notes on what he believes the Lord is saying. We'll see if we can make sense of any of this. First, the Lord woke me up with this morning. It's from Ephesians. And I pray that he would unveil within you the unlimited riches of his glory and favor until supernatural strength floods your innermost being with his divine might and explosive power. So, Father, we receive... Explosive power. Uh-oh. Your divine might. We receive your explosive power. Father, in this month that we are entering, where are we express our worship where it comes forth out of us, Lord. We thank you are creating divine might and rooting explosive power inside of us. Oh, I can't wait to hear how Chuck Pierce is going to clarify this. Put your hand right here. Just say explode. <laughs> has his hand on his stomach. Yeah, I, w I would not want to declare over my gut that, you know, to, to have things explode. I've experienced uh, explosions as a result of gastrointestinal things, and, and it's just not fun. You, usually it will involve, you know, Pepto-Bismol or s some kind of kaopectate type, of, you know, regimen after that until things clear up, until the explosions stop. Usually there's aftershocks associated with those types of explosions. So I, I am putting my hand on my tummy and saying, explode. No, 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 my wife would not be happy if I did that. Charismos. What? Dynamos. Explode. Charismos. Dynamos. This is stupidos. Lord, we thank you for the explosion in your people. This <laughs> they got a fire going on there. Thank you. All right, they're moving on to the next part of the worship themselves set. So we'll fast forward to the conclusion of that, see if we can figure out what's going on with a little bit more uh, open mic, shall we? That her blessings all come from me and forgotten that I am her husband. So, so this guy is now channeling the Holy Spirit and speaking in first person, as if he himself is God. What could possibly be wrong with that? I will thwart her path and wall her in so she cannot find her way. Then I will allure her and draw her into the wilderness. And when she grasps that she has nothing, then I will visit her and I will speak tenderly to her as my bride and she will listen to me again and i will renew my covenant with her and she will once again once again sing her praises to me i will draw her into the wilderness so god's saying that once again the bride of christ will sing her praises to 
the Lord. See, he's not, they're not, Bride of Christ isn't doing that now. Bride of Christ is presently singing her praises to herself. Then I will come like the rain. What's with the flags? I, we got an American flag and what looks like a Soviet Union flag. Apparently, we've we've got the melding of the two now being waved together. I don't know what it means. I wanted to thank the president and the first lady for the Fourth of July. <laughs> okay. All right, somebody let this guy out of the corner office at the uh, local <clears throat> uh, Dunder Mifflin franchise. Okay. Celebration that we had. <laughs> Military first responders. The Lord talked to me during that period of time. He said, you're angry, prophet, at me. And I said, yes, I am, Father. We've gone through a difficult time for five years. I'm not mad at you. I understand why you're disappointed in me. No, no, he's also uh, channeling the Holy Spirit and speaking for God in first person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's just put it this way. If these words aren't actually from God, this is blasphemy. And there ain't no reason to believe these are actually words from God, so... That would mean that this is blasphemy, yeah. I haven't answered the prayers that you wanted in your time, time, time frame. He said, but I let you feel those things as my prophet so that you understand how many within my body feel. There are many that are angry right now because their prophetic word hasn't come to pass. That's because it wasn't a prophetic word. Just saying. Yeah, see, Deuteronomy 18, if you're not sure. Their marriage is being disrupted. Their children aren't where they're supposed to be. They haven't found employment. They're looking at foreclosure. I understand because I made them. I wept like that in the Garden of Gethsemane. Are you sure you're hearing directly from God? The, the reason I ask, because, you know, you're channeling God here, and, you know, you're speaking for God in first person, and I'm pretty sure it's not pronounced. Um, how did you pronounce it? Let me back that up. Let me just play this again. The Garden of what again? Can it foreclosure? I understand because I made them. Yeah, yeah. I wept like that in the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. That's next to Poughkeepsie, right? Yeah. Um, so apparently God is uh, saying that he wept in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me back that up just again. Let's again. Look at it for closure. Yeah. yeah. I understand because I made them. Yeah. I wept like that in the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Yeah, that's next to Poughkeepsie. The cup was presented to me. But he spoke to me when the president said, when you see the military come, you know justice is on the way. What does that mean? Our president was prophetically speaking, and we're praying that Donald will become John, that he will be on his knees praying, filled with the Holy Spirit, and I'm thankful for him and Melania, but he spoke over this nation, justice is coming, and whether it's earthquakes and whether other things, as we did last night as a family, we've been 21 days that we've had communion because he ordered it. He said, I want you to take 
and have communion every night and something different has happened. But what I want to tell the body of Christ is this. If you're angry, he understands that. Your time is coming. The answer is going to come. This valley of the shadow of death that you are in will come to pass. So this valley of the shadow of death I'm in will come to pass. Are you saying God's going to kill me? <laughs> what on earth is this? And there is light on the other side. Yeah, it's the light that that lady, that creepy lady from uh, Poltergeist said. And you're not supposed to go into that light. You know, that's, that's bad. Thankful that we have a president. I am thankful that we have a prophet that speaks justice to the nations. And my God and your God says, I have released the angelic force. And I saw a film strip over the heavens. And the film strip said, it will be different in the future than it has been in the past, saith the Lord. Wow, yeah, you know, so thus saith the Lord, it's going to be different than it has been in the past. Well, there you go. <laughs> Just, I, um... So, you know, I'm not sure what they're doing during their church services down there at Glory of Zion, worshiping themselves and then getting these other words from God, which not only are not lucid, you're going to know how, how much time they're wasting not hearing the word of God and not worshiping Christ, because they're too busy worshiping themselves and listening to nonsensical words that really didn't come from God at all. So, yes, Glory of Zion is still cuckoo banana town and some kind of weird madhouse of <laughs> fervor and activity and feelings and stuff, but not a place where you go if you want to worship Christ and actually hear his word rightly taught. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, Gloria Zion is not an outlier anymore as far as how churches operate. It's become all too common for churches to behave and operate in this manner, and the person who gets lost in the shuffle is Jesus. Yeah, there you go. So if you found this helpful, all the information on how you can share the video is down below in the description. And of course, all the information on how you can support us financially so that we can keep doing what we're doing is also down below, like joining our crew or becoming a patron on Patreon. And this is quite important nowadays because uh, we've lost a major portion of our reg revenue stream because YouTube now is pretty much demonetizing almost every video that we publish. So yay for us. So if you don't already support us financially, this would be a good time to do so. So until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ and his vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. Amen.